11,000 light years from Earth, lies the ghost of a dead star. It is a tangled, chaotic mess of glowing gas and dust, the beautiful tombstone left behind by a star that blew itself to pieces centuries ago. Astronomers have studied this object, named Cassiopeia A, for decades. Was it a piece of the star's heart flung out in the explosion? Or was it something else entirely? It's hard to believe, but Elon Musk is not happy about this. Now, the truth of the star's violent death is finally coming out. To understand the monster, you first have to understand the place where it lives. Cassiopeia A, or CA's A for short, is one of the most famous objects in the night sky. But you can't see it with your eyes. It is the leftover remnant of a supernova, a star that exploded with unimaginable violence. The light from this gigantic explosion first reached Earth around the year 1680. People at the time might have seen a new, bright star temporarily appear in the sky, but they had no idea what they were witnessing. They were watching the death of a giant. What exactly is a supernova? Imagine a massive star, one many times bigger than our own sun. For millions of years, it burns through its fuel, creating immense energy. At its core, it's like a giant nuclear furnace, fusing atoms together. This process creates a massive outward push. At the same time, the star's own incredible gravity is trying to crush it inwards. For most of its life, the star lives in a perfect, delicate balance between these two titanic forces, the outward push of its furnace and the inward pull of its gravity. But eventually, the star starts to run out of fuel. The furnace begins to sputter. Suddenly, the outward push gets weaker and gravity wins. In less than a second, the star's core collapses in on itself, crushing down to an impossibly dense ball. This collapse triggers a colossal shockwave that rebounds outwards, tearing through the star's outer layers and blasting them out into space at millions of miles per hour. This is a supernova. It is an explosion so bright it can briefly outshine its entire home galaxy. That is what happened to the star that created C.A.Z. The wreckage seen today is the star's own material, its guts, flying outwards and crashing into space. This expanding cloud of debris is full of all the elements the star created during its life elements like silicon, iron, and calcium. For astronomers, CA's A is more than just a pretty picture. It is a cosmic laboratory. It is a chance to study the direct results of a star's death, to see how the elements that make up planets and people are forged and scattered across the universe. For over 50 years, they have pointed their best telescopes at it, mapping its every feature, they thought they had a pretty good handle on this famous ghost. But they were about to find out that this crime scene had one more giant secret to reveal. To solve a cosmic mystery as complex as this one, you can't just use one tool. You need a whole team of experts, each with a special skill. In astronomy, that team is made up of different telescopes, each one designed to see the universe in a completely different way. Think of it as the ultimate detective agency with each telescope playing a crucial role in cracking the case of the green monster. First, you have the veteran gumshoe, the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble sees the universe in optical light, which is the same kind of light human eyes can see. It is the crime scene photographer, taking beautiful, detailed pictures of the area. Hubble's job is to show what's happening in the background, mapping out all the other stars in the area to provide context. It sets the stage for the other detectives. Next up is the tough specialist, NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. Chandra is the forensics expert. It doesn't see normal light. It sees X-rays, the most high energy violent light in the universe. Chandra's job is to find where the action is hottest. It can see gas that has been heated to tens of millions of degrees by the supernova's shockwave. It's like having X-ray vision that can spot the gunpowder residue of the explosion. Chandra can also identify specific chemical elements in this super hot gas, like silicon and iron, telling the detectives what the star's core was made of. Then you have another specialist, NASA's New Star Telescope. New Star is the radioactive materials expert. It has a unique ability to trace the ghostly signature of radioactive elements. 
that were created only in the heart of the supernova explosion. For example, it can find radioactive titanium. It can also help find where radioactive nickel used to be, because nickel quickly decays into iron. By mapping where these radioactive elements are, New Star can create a blueprint of the explosion's engine, showing where it was most powerful and chaotic. And finally, you have the brilliant new detective on the scene, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Webb is a completely different kind of investigator. It is an infrared detective, meaning it sees the universe in infrared light, which is essentially heat. Its giant golden eye is so sensitive it can see through thick clouds of cosmic dust that block other telescopes. This allows it to see parts of the crime scene that have been hidden for centuries. It can see the cooler dust that gets warmed up by the hot gas. And more importantly, it can see pristine debris material from the star that was thrown out but hasn't yet been smashed by the main shockwave. Webb is the detective with the high-tech thermal goggles, able to see clues that everyone else missed. This discovery perfectly mirrors the philosophy that drives Musk's ventures. His entire career is built on disrupting industries by proving that the slow, established timelines for progress can be radically accelerated. The existence of Jade's GSZ 14-0 does the same for cosmology. The galaxy is over 1,600 light-years across and is already glowing with the light of hundreds of millions of suns, a scale previously thought impossible for that era. Furthermore, the detection of oxygen implies an entire generation of massive stars had already been born, lived, and deed a hyper-efficient star factory that defies gradual models. This cosmic parallel of rapid, massive-scale creation would undoubtedly serve as a powerful inspiration for Musk's vision for accelerating humanity's own technological future. To solve the mystery of the green monster, all of these detectives would have to work together, combining their unique views to build a complete picture of what really happened. For years, the picture of CA's A was clear. Chandra saw the blazing hot gas and the sharp thin arcs of the outer shockwave. Hubble saw the thousands of stars scattered around the beautiful wreckage but large parts of the remnant remained hidden behind thick clouds of dust. Then, in April 2023, the new detective arrived. The James Webb Space Telescope turned its powerful golden eye toward this famous stellar ghost. The images that came back were breathtaking. Webb's infrared vision pierced through the dust, revealing incredible new details. It showed fiery, delicate filaments of orange and pink, looking like a cosmic watercolor painting. It was the sharpest, most detailed view of the supernova remnant ever taken. But as scientists, led by Dan Milosavljevic of Purdue University, stared at the new images, they saw something they had never seen before. There, inside the familiar shape of CA's A, was a huge, strange, web-like structure glowing with an eerie green light. It was a complex maze of loops and holes, stretching across a vast section of the remnant. It looked like nothing else in the image. It was immediately clear that this was a major new piece of the puzzle. What on earth was it? The team nicknamed it the Green Monster. The name was perfect. It was mysterious. It was huge. And it was green in the false color images they created to highlight different materials. The immediate question was, what was its origin? Was this a giant chunk of the star's core that had been ejected in a strange way? The star's core is where heavy elements are made, so if the monster was made of core material, it should be full of elements like iron and silicon. Or was it something else entirely, something that had nothing to do with the star's inner guts? The monster had appeared, and now the chase was on to figure out what it was. The lineup. With the monster identified, it was time for the detective agency to get to work. To solve the mystery, the scientists had to perform a cosmic lineup. They took the image of the green monster seen by Webb and laid it directly on top of the images from the other telescopes, especially Chandra, to see if they could find a match. First, Webb's evidence was clear. It showed the shape and structure of the monster in incredible detail. In the infrared light that Webb sees, the green color represented glowing dust that was tangled up within this strange region. But Webb couldn't, by itself, say what the monster was made of 
or why it was there. It had found the mysterious body, but it didn't know the cause of death. This is where Chandra, the forensics expert, came in. The team looked at Chandra's X-ray map of CA's A. They carefully isolated the exact same region where Webb had seen the green monster. Now, they could check its chemical DNA. If the monster was a piece of the star's exploded core, its X-ray signature should be glowing with the bright barcodes of iron and silicon. But that's not what they found. The analysis was a shock. The gas inside the green monster region had very little iron and very little silicon. Its chemical fingerprint was completely different from the red-hot debris of the star's core seen elsewhere in the remnant. The DNA was not a match. The monster was not made of the star's inner guts. So, if it wasn't from the inside of the star, where did it come from? The detectives had another suspect in their lineup. The supernova's blast wave. This is the super-fast shock wave, like a continuous sonic boom that leads the whole explosion. It is the very outer edge of the remnant, where the explosion is slamming into the gas and dust that surrounds the dead star. The team compared the X-ray signature of the green monster to the X-ray signature of this outer blast wave. And there it was. A perfect match. The colors in the X-ray image, which show the mix of elements and temperatures, were nearly identical. The amount of iron and silicon was the same. The temperature was the same. The conclusion was suddenly crystal clear. The green monster was not a piece of the star at all. It was the result of the explosion's own blast wave crashing head-on into a giant, invisible wall of gas that was already floating in space. But where did that wall of gas come from? It came from the star itself, centuries or even thousands of years before it exploded. Massive stars are not quiet objects. As they get older, they often burp or blow off their outer layers in strong stellar winds. The star that created CA's A had apparently ejected a massive, clumpy shell of its own gas long before it died. It was sitting there, invisible, until the star finally exploded. The green monster is the spectacular, glowing splash created when the supernova shockwave, traveling at millions of miles per hour, hit that pre-existing wall of material. The mystery of the monster's identity was solved. Reconstructing the crime, Solving the green monster mystery was a huge win, but the investigation was not over. With the combined power of Webb, Chandra, and Newstar, the detectives could now use their clues to reconstruct the crime itself, the supernova explosion from 340 years ago. This is where Webb's ability to see pristine debris became so important. Remember, pristine debris is material from the star that was ejected in the explosion but has not yet been hit by the main shock waves. It's the unsmashed, undisturbed evidence. You can think of it as finding perfectly preserved footprints at a chaotic crime scene. At the same time, the other detectives were mapping the core of the explosion. Newstar, the radioactivity expert, was able to map the location of titanium. Chandra was able to map the location of iron, which is the final product of radioactive nickel decay. By creating a map showing where the titanium was, where the iron was, and where the pristine debris was, the scientists could see a picture of the star's final violent moments. And what they saw was pure chaos. The explosion was not a neat, symmetrical event, like an onion peeling its layers off perfectly. It was a lopsided, messy, violent mixing. The maps showed that the radioactive material from the star's collapsing core did not spread out evenly. Instead, it seems to have punched outwards in powerful jet-like structures. The most amazing clue was how these things connected. They could see filaments of pristine debris, seen by Webb near the center of the remnant, that seemed to be directly connected to clumps of iron seen by Chandra farther out. They also noticed that the radioactive material seemed to have carved out cavities and holes in the pristine debris. It was as if the hot radioactive matter from the core acted like a violent sculptor, shaping the debris as it all flew outwards. Imagine setting off an explosion deep underwater. The bubbles and forces from the blast would create incredibly complex shapes in the water around it. That is what happened inside this dying star. The violent, radioactive heart of the explosion shaped the material flying away from it creating the beautiful and intricate structures seen today. The star's outer layers were blasted into space. 
creating the beautiful, chaotic ghost and the mysterious green monster. But what happened to the heart of the star? What was left behind at the exact center of this colossal crime scene? When a star this massive dies, its core doesn't just vanish. The crushing force of its own gravity is so immense that it squeezes the core down into one of two things. A black hole, where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape, or something almost as strange a neutron star. In the case of Cassiopeia A, the explosion left behind a neutron star, and it is one of the most bizarre and extreme objects a person could possibly imagine. To understand a neutron star, you have to throw out all the normal rules of matter. During the star's final collapse, the gravity is so powerful it overcomes the forces that keep atoms apart. It takes all the tiny protons and electrons that make up the star's core and physically mashes them together to form neutrons. The entire heart of a star many times bigger than the sun is crushed into a perfect sphere no larger than a city. Think about that. It's like taking Mount Everest and squishing it down to the size of a grain of sand. A single teaspoon of material from a neutron star would weigh billions of tons, more than all the buildings in a major city combined. Its gravity is so intense that if you dropped a marshmallow on it, it would hit with the force of an atomic bomb. Many of these stellar corpses also spin incredibly fast, sometimes hundreds of times every second, sweeping beams of energy through space like cosmic lighthouses. For years after CA's A was discovered, astronomers hunted for this leftover core. If a supernova happened, there had to be something left behind. But the remnant is so full of bright, hot, messy gas that it was impossible to see the center. The heart of the monster was hidden. The mystery remained unsolved until 1999, when a new detective arrived on the scene, the Chandra X-ray Observatory. In the very first image Chandra ever took, it stared at CA's A. Its powerful X-ray eyes pierced through the hot gas and debris that blinded other telescopes. And there, right at the center of the explosion, it saw a tiny, faint, but unmistakable point of light. They had found it. It was the stellar corpse, the crushed and still glowing heart of the star, that had created this entire spectacle. But the more scientists studied this tiny object, the weirder it got. It wasn't behaving like a normal neutron star. For one thing, it's not a pulsar. It doesn't sweep a regular pulsing beam of radio waves across space. For some reason, this one is unusually quiet. It's a ghost at the center of a ghost. Even stranger is its atmosphere. Scientists discovered that this neutron star is wrapped in an incredibly thin veil of pure carbon, only about four inches thick. This was a huge surprise. Theories suggested it should have an atmosphere of hydrogen or maybe iron. The presence of carbon hints at a complex history where material fell back onto the star after the explosion and was cooked by the intense heat into a new element. This tiny, city-sized object is the true engine of the whole remnant. Its incredible gravity and heat continue to influence the chaos around it. Studying this single point of light gives astronomers clues about the kind of star that died, the strange nature of its explosion, and the physics of matter under the most extreme pressure possible in the universe. The green monster is the dramatic splash, the expanding debris is the shrapnel from the blast, and this tiny neutron star is the crushed, still hot bullet at the heart of it all. It is the final, crucial piece of evidence in this 340-year-old crime scene. If the very atoms needed for life are only born from such violent chaos, is the universe truly on our side? Like and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries.